guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Callie, and today I'm obviously at a different angle. I'm standing for one instead of in a chair, um, but I'm gonna do a book tag with my newly arranged bookshelves. So this may not be smart, but I rearranged them all. As you can tell, they're no longer in a rainbow. Um, and I have Sarah over here in the corner. Hello. Who's gonna <laughs> read me these prompts. So this is the do I have that book trope tag? Yes. <laughs> I had her just sort of fly through and pick one <laughs> so that I have no idea and I actually go into this relatively blind. I'm not going to time this because I don't want to know. <laughs> All right, there's two rules for this okay. book tag. One, you can only use a book once in, in the challenge. Okay, I'll take them off the shelves and put them on the ottoman. <laughs> there you go. And two, if you don't have a book for a trope, add a minute onto your... Oh, that's your total time. I'm not doing time. I'm not doing time. So there's only one rule, one book for each prompt. Got it. Cool. All right, one, a love triangle or love V? Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Two, enemies to lovers. <laughs> Serpent and Dove by Shelby Meharan. The Chosen One. Is this cheating? Is Harry Potter cheating? A little bit. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> chosen One. Oh, okay. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Found Family. A book showing characters creating a chosen family from friends and those closest to them. I feel like picking Six of Crows is cheating. Because everyone picks Six of Crows. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't realize there's like descriptions for each of these. You're good. I just found them, so it's hard if it's oh. weird. Flamecaster by Cinda Williams Shrima. Five, Grey Morality, a book featuring characters that don't appear either good or bad. Okay. Oh, duh. Uh, it's stuck. <laughs> yeah. Literally. The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. Six, Competitions, Games, or Tournaments, a book featuring one of these as a core element directly involving the characters. I have tons of these, and they're all <laughs> leaving my brain. <laughs> Why are they all leaving my brain? <laughs> Come on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Get out. <laughs> and ever in the ashes. I said it here. <laughs> Seven. Sibling Rivalry. A book that contains siblings. Grace and Fury by Tracy Banger. <laughs> Eight. Revenge Plot. A book that contains a character slash characters whose motivation is fueled by revenge. <laughs> I mean, I have one, but I feel like it's cheating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the girlfriends. Revenge. Ooh. Are you in frame? Yeah. Well, barely. Okay. More than you were on the bottom. Uh, sea Witch by Sarah Henning. Nine. Here Comes the Cavalry. A book that just when your protagonist is going to lose, here comes the unexpected help. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's so specific. <laughs> Shit, I could have used Flamecaster. <laughs> Unexpected help. What? Oh, okay. Um. Oh, Crystal Storm by Morgan Rhodes. Ten. The Dark Lord, a book containing the character who appears to be doing evil for evil's sake. Harry Potter's cheating, right? <laughs> evil for evil's sake. You can use Harry Potter, you can just only use it once. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go... It was just totally cheating for the chosen one. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a no. We're gonna go Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> Number 11. The Orphaned Protagonist. A book featuring a character whose parents are either dead before or at the beginning of a book. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Number 12, The Quest. A book featuring the main protagonist going on a journey for a particular goal. <laughs> Stack them all too high. <laughs> Once in Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. 
13, Friends to Lovers, a book featuring two characters who have a friend dynamic who eventually develop a romance. Ugh, Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrai. 14, The Book Loving Character, a book featuring a character who loves reading books. <laughs> she has another shelf over there. So, there you go. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. 15, Amnesia. A book featuring a character, normally the protagonist, who suffers Shatter from... Shatter Me by Tyler Muffy. You're just trying to get it before I finish uh -huh, this, aren't that's you? That's the new goal. Okay. 16, Magic School. A book featuring a school setting of the magical variety. <laughs> Keeper of the Lost Cities Legacy by Shannon Messenger. 17, The Bad Boy Character. A, char a book featuring a character who is bad slash brooding acting character most commonly paired with a sad, tragic backstory. <laughs> Winter's Promise by Crystal Davos. 18, Resurrection. A book that features a character who you thought was dead is back, 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 back again. <laughs> <laughs> it literally says back four times. Um... Uh, okay, we'll go. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Ariemi. 19. Redemption Arc, a book featuring a character who was previously a bad slash evil character who wants to change. Uh, no. <laughs> um. <clears throat> No. I lied. Eh, okay. Go with The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Last one. 20. Forbidden Romance or Love, a book featuring a romance that can't work. No. A romance that can't work. Evernight by Jay Kristoff. I did it! <laughs> you wanna hold up all your books? No. I have gotten 20 books, <laughs> all with a particular trope. I love all these books. And I love all these tropes. So, I'm gonna put these down now because they're heavy. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let us know down below in the comments if you want to see more book tags, because this was a lot of fun. <laughs> Just scouring my shelves looking for books. And now I have to put them all back. Now I have to put them all back. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!